Today I'm going to be doing a PHP tutorial, but I'm going to take this for from kind of different angle because there's already lots of PHP tutorials on YouTube. Now, I I, I won't be afraid to admit that on YouTube that there are a lot more smarter development ninjas than me, and there are lots of really good PHP tutorials on YouTube. But what I wanted to do with mine is kind of take it from a different angle um, as from what I have had to use as a designer and, and just show, show you some of the stuff that I've, I've really come across in my day to day dealings with PHP and show you the simple stuff that a, a designer can use to build some um, really cool stuff so we're just going to start with a blank PHP file and then we're going to kind of take it from there so you, you really get taken from naught. Um, so what we, what we, for, if we look at this file we've called it index.php and put it in our directory. If we look at our web page that's all we've, that's all we've got a blank file that's got nothing in it. Um, what we need to do to start our PHP is an opening carrot like you would in a HTML, a question mark, the word PHP, and then that begins our PHP. What we need to do to end that PHP is the question mark and a closing bracket. So all of, we're telling our browser that all of what's um, in these in these two statements you're going to read as PHP and um, it's important to know that PHP is a is a server side language so it's in, impossible for the for the client or for you to even look at the code certainly not spoof it so that's important to know about the way PHP works the first thing I'm going to show you is how to um, print something on the screen. We do that, making sure we're in our PHP text. We can just say the word print and then for example we can put HTML tagging in bracket we can say h1 a dot which means append and then um, we can say h1 welcome close h1 um, and then when you end your PHP statements you always end them with a semicolon so it's fine you know, a semicolon if we save that and then look back at our code we see we've got an H H1 tag that says welcome and if, if, if we looked at the source we'd see that um, when, when this thing ran that's all that's all the, the server um gave to our browser because all all that processing of what that statement is is done by the server so, so that's good for um web people being able to know um uh how to use HTML with PHP so we generally use a print statement um Okay guys, so that's going to be about the end of this tutorial and you've just seen how to begin your PHP and write some HTML in your PHP. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.